Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So today's probably just going to be a pretty quick video. I uh, got a bag of stuff from China. This is it. Um, I thought I might have a look at it with you. I, I'm expecting a couple of bags actually, but only one has arrived so far. So there might be a number of just short, quick little uh, uh, mail call um, episodes coming up where I, where I have a look at that. So I'm going to open up the box. I'm going to take the bits and pieces and show you them under the um, uh, 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 under the, the, the bench camera and then um, and then we'll wrap it up. So we'll just see what's arrived and uh, and that'll be that. Um, I'll probably have uh, notes in the show notes uh, about uh, what we've looked at here today. So without further ado, Here we are on the bench. So uh, uh, it looks like uh, just a, a bag of 10 has arrived. I think in this order, I actually got um, three bags of 10. So I'm expecting two more bags to show up. I thought I might do this thing wrapped up in tape first. I have no idea what's in here. I don't remember what I ordered. There was uh, a sale on at AliExpress and I just, uh, bought a whole lot of cheap items including this which is a magnetic tray I remember buying this so uh, it should be able to just hold screws and such so we'll check that out later on it's magnetic in there I believe um, so up next is the uh, velcro uh, straps I've got a, a pack of them. So, uh, as you can see, you just uh, peel one off and then you can um, wrap it through like that and uh, and tie, tie up a cable. So it's for uh, organizing cables. Very good. We might as well put that in our Velcro cable tidy drawer, which is here. As you can see, I've got a bunch of them already. Will that fit? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to fit. I wonder if we can just tip them out. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'm going to uh, use a bigger drawer than this. Um, so, uh, don't you worry about this. You let me worry about this. I'll fix that up later on. So I'm going to consolidate that and that into a new drawer um, that is uh, this big. So that should fit everything. Um, and uh, I'll just need to, to, to jiggle some stuff so that they, uh, so that I have the spare drawer. Now up next is the, uh, the steel brush. This is just a, uh, a steel brush it's uh it's for uh doing sort of abrasive work on on us uh, on things uh, it's got a hole for the hook so that's good uh we'll um we'll put that on the on the perf board and then we've got uh, a wire holder i believe this is so it's just for uh when you're working on something and you and you want to join some wires you can you can put uh, the wire that you're working on in there and it'll hold it. So this is just a wire holder. Now I'm going to have to keep it somewhere um, and it looks like it looks like I've got a whole spot there, don't I? So I'm going to keep my wire holder there. I also have uh, these in there which are um, not wire holders but uh, they're for, for bending uh, the legs of, com of through hole components. So uh, that's all very good. I might put all of those together. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take that out, and that out, and that out, that out. I'm going to consolidate uh, this. And we've got some, uh, that's a uh, heat, heat uh, thermal paste. All right. So, let's put 
Crow agrees there. Can you say that? Yes. All right, well, that's fairly well organized. Now, what's next? How about these? Okay, these are O-rings, which I ordered by mistake. Um, I What I thought I was ordering was um, drive belts. I thought I was getting drive belts, but actually I was getting uh, O-rings. So, I guess in a pinch you could use an O-ring as a drive belt, maybe, maybe. Um, anyway, now I've got a bunch of um, of, of O-rings. Lucky me. They're a bit, uh, they're a bit static electricity-ish, aren't they? Alright. Oh, dear me. So I'm not sure where I'm going to keep these. They do have a, a like a, 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 a hangy bit on it. So it's got a, it's got a hook that I can hang. So I might keep them up on the, uh, on the pegboard. <laughs> now these, I don't even know what they are. Um, but I didn't already have them, so I got them. And I figure whatever they are, they might come in useful. They look like copper tubes, but I don't know what you'd use a copper tube for. What would you use a copper tube like this for? If you know, let me know. I would love to know. What do you use a copper tube for and why did I buy them? I think uh, I just, I, I, I guess I got them because they're standoffs, aren't they? So you, you can put a bunch of them uh, around your, uh, your circuit and then you can put the screws through and they're just standoffs. But I don't know why you'd use copper standoffs. Usually a, a standoff would be uh, <coughs> insulated, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I got a bunch of these, and these ones do not have a tab for hanging, so they can't go on the surfboard. Ah, and I got these pens. So uh, these are for uh, marking, like uh, where you're going to drill. Which is, you would have seen me yesterday. I used my sharpie for that, but in future I might be able to use these. Um, if they're any good, I'm going to order them again. I, I, uh, I got uh, two. Um, colors in in one type called a craftwork pen and I got on, only um, gold for the brush pen only gold for the brush pen so um, let's uh, let's have a look at it huh here we go we can draw on the back of this card here now this is gold hard I think gold hard okay very good it does look like it'll write on just about anything uh, and this is uh, silver hard okay and then there's gold soft I believe this is soft okay and that's a, that's uh, they call it a brush um, and this will be the same as that uh, gold soft all right so now we know what we're dealing with so I've got two soft both gold I'm going to put them in my uh, component drawers over there and then I've got uh, gold hard and silver hard uh, and I'm going to put them uh, up the back here there we go. All right, very good. So I'm pretty happy to have those uh, those pens. Yeah, I'm actually going to get more of them in the future. I think I like having lots of pens on standby. And here we are with a bag full of through-hole resistors. I just got some to have for stock because you know you do go through them. So I'll uh, I'll take that that over to the booth and. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to be a bit anal about it. I'm going to take them out of their thing. I'm going to scrub the ends so that there's no glue on them. Um, and then I might even measure them just to confirm. And then I'll, um, I'll file them in my uh, component drawers over there in the booth. 
Uh, I probably won't be doing that with you. I might record the video and maybe I'll time lapse it or something. We'll see. Um, now these are M2 screws. Um, I usually don't deal in M2 screws. I usually use either M3 or M4 screws. Um, but I thought it might be handy to have <coughs> some M2 screws, uh, which are actually really quite small, aren't they? Uh, so let's just pop him open, and there we go. So um, they're all bagged up. Fair enough. Shall we open the bags? Why not, huh? So uh, these are my M2 screws. <sighs> now, as I said, I've got two more bags of uh, of uh, stuff to arrive. I um I actually just went over to AliExpress to buy myself uh, another pair of these because they're like two to three bucks and they're really handy. Um, and when I got there and I was just going to buy that, there was a sale on, uh, and there was so much you know stuff like this stuff that I'm showing you here that was just so cheap, two or three bucks each. Um, so I thought, ah, oh, fuck it, and I just bought, just bought a bunch of things, uh, and I ended up getting three orders, because you could only have a maximum of ten items per order, <laughs> but you could have as many orders as you wanted, <laughs> so I went back a couple of extra times and just got myself a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, so there's my M2 screws. They're uh, self-tapping. Self-tapping M2. Very good. And then this is pretty boring, but I, uh, I got it just because um, you never know what you're going to need. Um, and what it is, is uh, some padding for, for a clamp or, or a vice uh, grip. And I think it might be magnetic. I'm not quite sure. So, uh, yeah, it's magnetic. Um, so what you can do is you can just... Uh, oh, no, look at that. Poor quality. It's come apart. Let's, uh, let's fix that, shall we? Let's see if we can get all of the magnets out. If we can get all of the magnets out... Then we can glue... What are we going to do? Because that magnet fell out. <sighs> We're going to use epoxy or are we going to use super glue? Ah, decisions, decisions. What am I going to do? I'm going to put that, that... That magnet just fell out. Ah, right. What are the, are the other magnets going to fall out? Am I going to use a whole tube of glue? What am I going to do? What are we going to do? I suppose we could just use the Araldite. Uh, there's one bit of it. Now I got this the other day because my mate Craig told me it was better than um, uh, super glue. And the reason it's better than super glue is that it's uh, <clears throat> it has it's more flexible apparently, whereas super glue apparently is a bit uh, brittle. Now here's my scrap plastic, and I just need to get a little thing like that for mixing our glue together. And we're not going to need much glue. So, might as well get this done now, huh? All right. Well, so with the arrow light, you just take the two tubes and then you squirt a bit out and you melt, mix them together. I can give you better light. 
How's that? That's hard to say. How about that? I don't know. Alright, well that looks pretty well mixed together to me. And then we just got to put a little bit of it in where we're going to need it. So let's just take him out. Ah, it's fairly good to me. Alright, and we'll put our little magnet back in. Ah, oh, shit. It flipped. Now I've got araldite all over my fingers. Really fucked it. Well, I uh, I think it might actually be a good idea to clamp that shut. I'm just going to get a little clamp. Here is a little clamp, so uh, I'm just going to put it over there, and uh, do it up real hard. Hopefully this doesn't glue the clamp to the thing. It might actually glue the clamp to the thing. I don't want to do that. So, uh, I'm going to change my plan here. I'm not going to use this in this fashion. But that has squeezed it all the way in. That's good. Now, I'm not sure what's a good antidote to, uh, to Araldite. I'm just going to uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Just like I bought one, huh? All right. I can smell the araldite. It's all over, all over my fingers. All right. So, did I explain what these are? They're basically um, they hang over your uh, um, uh, clamp, and and they and they create a soft softer than metal uh, clampy clamp. So they're just clamps. That's it. Um, so um, I'll just keep them down here in the same drawer where I kept that other stuff earlier. And then this is the final bag. Now this bag is a bag full of magnets. It's, it's been a very magnety day, hasn't it? There's magnets in everything. So uh, these are just little uh, magnetic, um, uh, uh, they're, they're not, uh, I, I believe that they're just iron pads. I don't think they're metallic themselves and they, they stick they stick on things. So you just um, tear the back off here and then you stick it on something and then a magnet will stick to it. So they're, they're things for sticking magnets to. Um, I'm not sure where I'll keep them, um, but I'll figure that out. So they should probably stick in my uh, in my metallic tray. Yes, they do. Fascinating. So uh, just organizing them here so they're all the same way around. All right. So that's just a bunch of metal pads. What but what you use them for is you put them on the back of your. Uh, of your uh, iPhone, and uh, 
and then it can stick to a magnet. So they're just um, metal plates for uh, magnetic attachments. Uh, and that, my friends, concludes our uh, mail call. So I'll just throw it over to the farewell cam and we'll wrap up. And that's a wrap. So um, I'm just uh, uh, obviously going to need to uh, file a lot of this stuff away. Um, but that was our first 10 items. There'll be another two bags, so another 20 things arriving soon. And I'll just do another short video for those when they arrive. Um, if I had to pick my favorite thing from this mail call, I think my favorite thing is probably my new steel brush. I think that's probably the best thing that came in the in the things today. Um, the thing that I care the least about, uh, well, I guess there's a couple of candidates. Uh, I really don't know when I'm ever going to have any need for these copper tubes, and I don't know why I bought them. I, I think when I bought them, I thought that they were spacers, like standoffs, uh, but they're made out of copper by the looks of it and I don't know what you'd use them for but you never know when you need a little bit of stuff for something something or other so I've got those now and the other thing is I got these o-rings um, I thought that I was buying spare belts you know like drive belts um, but they're not they're o-rings uh, so those are my two least um, uh, interesting things um, it's it's very nice to have some more capac uh, resistors you can never have too many of those I'll um, I'll actually make a video over there uh, now uh, of just putting the resistors away. Um, I might attach it to this uh, this video, we'll see. And uh, I've got to uh, find a new home for my Velcro tabs. Um, you saw my plastic bits. We managed to repair our, um, uh, our new clamp where the magnet fell out. Um, and I think uh, this actually is quite cool as well. The uh, the little magnetic drawer for, for components and such while you're working. So that's, that's a nice touch, very nice to have. Um, so uh, this is either the end of this video or we're going to pop over to the booth and have a look at a bit of a time lapse. So let's see what happens. And uh, of course, thank you very much for watching and please remember to hit like and subscribe. I thought I might report just quickly that I tidied up my Velcro cable tidy drawer. So, uh, yeah, I've got the new ones in the bottom there, a couple of them over there. I, I, I glued them to a stick so uh, you can see them all uh, there. And there was a couple of odd ones that I just wound together with the fluffy side out so they don't all stick together. Uh, yeah.